Welcome to FEO Mixology. On this occasion, we're going to be looking at a 3234 DMTL. Uh, this is a Weber carb. This is a carb that's made in Spain, and I'm going to show you some modifications that were done to this particular carb. <clears throat> and the modifications are done in such a way as to make the carburetor perform better at wide open throttle but to keep the performance the same when when you are on kind of part throttle so the economy would be the same the throttle response would be the same but it's just designed to give you that little bit of an extra power uh, at top end at wide open throttle I'll show you in a minute the the close-ups of, of what I've done and therefore th this is designed mainly for cars that need that little bit extra but you would you don't want to upgrade to a bigger car or it's for people who who just want to have a, like a normal car and then maybe kind of once or twice give it a little blast so that's the that, that that's what this design is for so one of the things i did in here was was thinning out this section of the of the of the of the throttle shaft which would have would have been in line with this so it would have been it would have had like a hump here and I've, ju I've just filed that off and also the other thing I did in the primary side was putting smaller screws so therefore if you if you look at it here the air has less of a restriction now coming through here than with the original one so if I show you so if I show you this in a, this is a kind of DCOE shaft, but you, you, you can see, you can see what I'm on about. The original Weber screws are these ones, which are quite large. If you, if you look at the cross-sectional area in terms of their air, the airflow, and the, this is, this is a replacement for like the Italian ones. And you can see that they are much, much closer to the shaft and they don't protrude as much. So they, these are better for airflow because there is a much less cross-sectional area of this one, of this one compared to this one. And in on the secondary side, it's it's a much more extreme modification, in the sense of that the hole of the top of the shaft has been cut off. So what this modification does, in effect, is increase the flow of the, the, the give extra capacity for the carburetor at wide open throttle when the throttle is like this you will have much less cross-sectional area to act as a restriction and you can see that you can see the difference in this shaft this is a Delorto DHLA shaft that the same process has been applied so the top has been milled off and this kind of countersunk screw has been used so therefore the throttle the throttle shaft and the throttle plate present much less of a restriction so therefore <clears throat> in terms of this carb you can you can just go kind of pop throttle and it will be just the same as a normal carb the primary side is going to have a touch more flow at wide open throttle not a lot obviously there is a, I, I did take out this the slightly larger larger screws but when you give it the full beams, um, it, will, it will have considerably more flow uh, through the secondary. Now, in terms of power, how much power uh, would you get out of it in addition to the normal carb? Um, if I'm being honest, I've got absolutely no idea. And it would depend a lot, depending on the carb and the use and the cam and all sorts of other factors. So now this is the conclusion of the um, Weber 34 DMTL build. Um, it's going on a, a Fiat manifold. This is a X19 or 128 or Zastava. There's, there's lots of Fiat cars that, that had it. Um, and I really liked, I really liked the Fiat single overhead cam engine. It's, it's quite revy. I mean, it's, it's quite modern design in a sense because the cam actuates straight onto the valves. So it's quite rev happy. And therefore, hence, the modification to 
do the do the the throttle shafts that I've showed you before. Now, one thing I, that that I do want to show you is why the primer only has been lightly modified, and it is because this is quite tightly sprung. So it has two different springs uh, in the primary, one that holds obviously the, the primary uh, closed, but also the secondary sprung here. And therefore, and also the, you've, you've got the accelerator pump here that, that acts on this side. So it's quite tightly sprung. And if you remove a lot of material from here, what's going to happen is that it will weaken the shaft quite a bit. So you can get a lot of flex on the shaft. So that's why on this particular one, this shaft was left um, only very light, only a very small amount of material was um, was, was taken off. So this is really how, how it looks. Uh, it's been completely rebuilt. And then you just kind of pump it in the manifold. There you go. Nice and nice and nice and tight fit. And an air cleaner on the top. And that's it. You're, you're ready to go.